What is going on? Welcome to the Second of Strength Podcast. As always, I'm just grateful you're spending your valuable seconds with me. I recognize that there are a lot of places, a lot of things that you could be doing right now. And so the fact that you're spending just a few minutes with me today, I appreciate it. We're going to get into it today. I um, We're going to talk about people's opinions, why they matter to us, why they shouldn't matter to us, and what we're going to do about it. Because what's happening today in the world is because of social media, there is an amplification effect on on us caring about what other people think, right? We do everything for the gram. We always put things on social media and we, we really care what people think a lot. And and what's happening is it's 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 impacting how we act and how we live our lives. And if you think about teenagers, teenage girls and boys but girls a lot of times they're living in this world of comparison they're living in this world of self-doubt and this is not unique to teenagers it's it's adults it's everybody and it is amplified by social media right now and so we're going to talk a little bit about other people's opinions and i've been guilty of using the phrase i don't care what other people think a lot and i i and and because i i don't. However, I want to make one clarification. I was listening to um, someone named Michael Gervais recently. He has a book called Finding Mastery, and he uses a phrase called FOPO. Instead of FOMO, you've probably heard of fear of missing out, right? And fear of missing out is like, you got to be on social media. You got to do all these things because you don't want to be left out. Well, FOPO is the fear of people's opinions. And what happens is that we live in this world where we start to worry about what other people think and it starts to impact who we are but he makes a very clear distinction between caring and worrying right and should we care what other people think yes sometimes we'll talk about that should we worry about what other people think and the answer to that is no we should stop worrying about what people think and what happens in our brain in our brains in our worlds is that that we are ultimately survival creatures. If you go back, you know, thousands of years, or if you even think of animals right now that live in Africa or in the wild, right? Like they're pack animals. And and we've been hardwired wired in our brains to survive. And in olden days, survival meant you have to live together in a community. You have to be in this community group. Otherwise, survival is impossible, right? If somebody did something wrong and they get kicked out of of the pack, right? There is no way for that that person to survive. You're not going to be able to kill all your own food. You're not going to be able to uh, find your own water. You're not going to be able to protect yourself. You're not going to survive. And so we've been hardwired to think this way that if we are not together, if I'm not doing things the same, if I'm not accepted by the group, then I'm not going to be accepted. I'm not going to survive. And the reality is, is that's just not true anymore. Like, like we don't live in the old days where you had to survive in the pack, although community is important. I'm not saying don't be community, but I am saying we don't need to, we don't need to worry about what other people think to, so that we can fit in because if we fit out, it's just as much. Okay. And so I think what happens is, we change who we are to satisfy people that are not us, right? We worry that somebody's going to think differently about us. We, you know, there's really a few different areas where, where you know, your appearance, right? If I don't dress a certain way or look a certain way, then I'm not going to be accepted by a certain group of people. And so we have this, this, uh, this, this worry, and it changes who we are fundamentally because we're worried about what they're going to think. Sometimes it's our flaws, right? Some maybe you have you know, something going on or, or whatever. I don't know what, what your perceived flaws are, right? But we have these this perception that our flaws are going to be magnified through other people's eyes and that everyone's always looking at us and that 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 we're not going to be accepted because of it. Or it could be there are mistakes, right? We we are concerned that people are looking at what we're doing. And if I make a mistake, it's going to be magnified and people are going to judge me and think about me differently. And so we create this like this storm of worry throughout our lives 
and it impacts what we do on a daily basis. And what that is, is there's something called the spotlight effect, and this isn't psychology, but but we have this belief that there's always a spotlight right on us. And the reality is, is that studies show that people aren't really thinking about you. They're not really paying attention to what you're doing or what you're wearing. Like, that's just not something that's happening. And if you think about it, it's like, think of yourself, right? Are you worried about what other people are, are are wearing? Are you thinking about them? Are you thinking about it? And the answer is no. So we're not thinking about them just like they're not thinking about us. But we have this 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 spotlight mentality that all of our flaws, our appearance, our mistakes, all of it is being magnified in the eyes of somebody else. And it changes who we are. So if you think about you know, what you chose to wear today. The question I would ask you is, did you choose to wear it because you felt like it was going to help you fit in with a crowd? Did you choose to wear it because you knew that it was going to be accepted by other people? Did you decide not to wear something in your closet because you thought someone might judge you or someone might think of you differently if you if you wore that? Well, that's the worry, right? That's worrying what other people think. That's the fear of people's opinion. And versus, did you put on what you're wearing today because you love it? Did you put it on because you felt comfortable in it? Did you put it put it on because it's what you felt was going to be right for you in your life, right? And that's the difference, right? We want to get to a place where we're not worrying about what other people think because we know who we are and we know we know what we want. And I always say that that happiness ultimately is an inside job. It comes from you, it comes from internally. And anytime we start looking externally, for things to make us happy, whether that is acceptance, whether that uh, it could be anything, right? But if we're looking externally, maybe it's likes on social media, maybe it's views. If we're looking externally for happiness, it's gonna be really hard to find because we're going to always be looking in a place that we can't control. And we have to control our own happiness from the inside out. And so that's the biggest thing that I think we have to do. We're pack animals, yep. We have this innate pack mentality in our brain. However, we're not going to not survive if we're not a part of a pack. And so we want to begin to change who we are from the inside and let other people accept us, whether they accept us or they don't, that's fine, but we're not gonna worry about it. We're not gonna change who we are. And so think about, there's a couple of different ways we want to do this as we as that that I want to leave you with a couple of tools, a couple of thoughts that are going to help you not worry about other people's opinions. And the very first is if happiness truly is an inside job, then what is it that you like? What is it that you want? What is your passion? What is your dream? Not worrying about what other people think, not worrying about what other people do, not worrying about what they might they might judge you or they might think differently of you, none of that. But what do you like? What drives you? What is your motivation? What lights your fire? We can't worry about what other people are doing or thinking about us because if it diminishes our light within us, then it's not the place that we want to be spending our time. We have to be focused on what drives us and what comes internally. We can't worry about what other people are doing. And if that diminishes our light, then we got to check really closely if it's something that we want in our life or not. So so that's the that's the first thing. Recognize it comes from inside out. The second thing, really twofold. This this next one is is there are people in your life whose opinion you should care about, right? I don't know who those people are, but I would invite you to find a circle of trust, a circle of friends, right? If you if you uh, what was that? Meet the parents that movie, and he had the circle of trust. Who is your circle of trust of people's opinions that that you'll listen to that 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 matter? Because we can't necessarily. And I've again, I've I've made this statement before. I don't care what people think. I don't care what people think. The real statement is, I don't worry about what people think. I'm going to do the things that I need to do to grow my life, to be happy, to to fill my own cup without worrying what other people may think or don't think, and most of the time, the things we're worried about don't even happen anyway, right? Because they're not thinking about us. We're not the center of their universe. You think about the spotlight effect, that's like thinking that we are the center of everybody else's universe, and that's not true. So we're the center of our universe, they're the center of you, their universe, and that's that's the end of it. And so, so we wanna make sure that we can create a circle of trust. I don't know how many people that is for you, 
two people, four people, eight people, people that we can be vulnerable with, people that we can we can seek for advice, seek for guidance. But those are the people that you want to have in your life. You want to create this circle so that if opinions, if you need to seek opinions from somebody, it comes from people that you know, that you trust, that you that you care about. And those are the people we want to care about. If it's not those people, then why are we worrying about their opinions? Then those people aren't really for us or they shouldn't have that great of an impact on our lives because it's not they're not the people that 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 matter most to us, right? And so create that circle of trust. And then the third thing is even within your circle of trust and whether this is people on the outside of your circle or people on your inside of your circle, let's create filters. Let's create filters where we can distill down the things that they say to us to the things that are important and the things that matter, right? So if someone in your circle of trust says something to you that, you know, I don't know, they, they say a whole bunch of things, right? Well, you have the opportunity to filter those things down to the things that really matter that are going to help you grow, that are going to help you be better, that are going to help you become the person you want to become. When we spend too much time accepting all of the opinions, all of the things, all of that into our lives, well, then we find ourselves in a place where we don't know where to turn and we don't know what to do because we're stuck in this mode of, of, I don't know, it's almost like paralysis analysis, if you've ever heard that term, where you have so much data coming in that you can't really do anything in the, at the end, right? Well, if so many people are giving you their opinions or you're worrying about so many opinions, then then you're going to get to a place where you don't know what to do and you don't know who you are anymore and you don't know what those values are anymore. That's what we want to try and avoid. So create filters where when people say something to you, you can filter it down, you can distill it down to the things that that matter or the things that don't. And when it's the things that matter, you can recognize those, you can be aware of those things and you can start to change, you can start to grow, you can start to become the person you want to become. If they're the things, if you distill down things and and you filter things out that people are saying that that aren't true or aren't real or aren't going to impact you in the long run, then those are the things we want to discard and not even not even bring into our mind or not even bring into our filter because at the end of the day, at the end of the day when we worry about other people's opinions, that's when we get into the danger zone in our own life because that's when we start to change fundamentally who we are because on the inside, we're worried about everything that's happening on the outside. And there's nothing more dangerous to who we can become and who our potential is and our uniqueness and your awesomeness and and the fact that you're enough. There's nothing more dangerous, in my opinion, to that than, than the worry about what other people are thinking and that changing us to becoming somebody we're not. So that's what I have for you today. I hope it helps you. Um, again, this concept of, of worrying about what other people think versus caring what other people think. And the fact that most people really aren't paying attention to you, right? Or they're not, there's no spotlight on you that's 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 impacting you in that way or that's being shown on you. So focus on the inside of you. Focus on becoming the person you want to become without worrying about what other people think, what other people say, what other people do. Find your circle of trust, the people that you should care what they think, the people that matter, the people that that are important to you and you want to you want to be there for them. And then create filters in your life so you can distill out the things that are that are causing you pain or that are making you worry in a way that isn't going to serve you in the long run. If we can distance ourselves from those things, we can find our one second of strength to do it every single time, then ultimately what we're going to find is a much happier state for us as we move through this adventure that is life. So I hope that helps. As always, if this is if this helped you, share it on social media. Tag me at Real Tanner Clark. Um, I appreciate everybody who's already left a rating and review. If you haven't done so already, it really helps me if you do that. But other than that, I'll leave you the way I always leave you. Go find your one second of strength and be happy.